Good morning everyone, it's December 10th. I'm hoping you have a great morning today. It's Tuesday and today we're going to talk about, you see, you might be confused. You might say, well, pastor, you must be thinking the Bible's wrong. No, I'm saying that when we he hear all these Christmas plays, they're wrong. So let me just begin with this. How does God, how does God lead, leads us in our lives? What does it look like? What does it portray? God only often only gives us enough light for the next step. Those are called face steps. A big question is what can you you do based on what you're sure of? See, sometimes we think we have to wait until all the pieces of the puzzle to get are to get in place. We don't. Do you know how do you know to do based on the information you have. All you have to do is look at what you have, what God has given you, and, and, and put you know begin the step one step, face step, a story. Uh, it, it's it's a it's a joke, so you got to laugh a little bit this morning. And there was three pastors, let's say a Assembly God pastor, a Baptist pastor, and let's say a Lutheran pastor. They all get together and they went on a fishing trip. And so they went out and they got in the boat and, and the Lutheran pastor says, and they're out in the middle of the lake and, and, and the Lutheran pastor goes, oh, I forgot my lunch. He got out of the boat, ran across the water and got his lunch, walked back in, got in the boat, began to fish. The Baptist pastor says, oh, I forgot my fishing pole or I forgot my tackle or something. So he gets out of the, the boat runs across the water, gets whatever he needs, comes back, jumps in the water, and begins to fish again. Some of the God pastor goes, oh, I forgot whatever. So he thought, okay, I'm going to do what everybody else did. So he gets out, and he um, steps out of the water and falls in, and the Lutheran pastor and the Baptist pastor nudge each other, laugh and laugh, and they, they look at each other and says, you think we should have told them about the rocks that we ran across? See, look, what I'm trying to... How I'm trying to parallel this is, is that sometimes we have to take little steps. Sometimes we just have to have faith steps. Sometimes we just got to allow God to lead us one step at a time. Because we like, we are in the fast food mentality. We want the whole picture and nothing but the picture. We want it all now. We want it our way. We want it to be so Woo! definitive right then. But can I tell you, God works in mysterious ways and God leads us. And then about, the Bible says he won't, get, won't give us more than we can handle. I mean, sometimes if he gives you the big picture, picture you might run and be scared and run and say, I can't do that. But if he say, puts this little uh, call in your heart, and you begin, oh, maybe that would be something I can do someday. And all of a sudden it gets a little bit bigger. And all of a sudden it gets a little bit bigger. I run into people, you know, in the ministry that, that how they got started and, and they'll say, well, you know, one time I just thought about doing youth ministry. Oh, that's great. And, and so they got that little burden and then they began to grow a little bit more and then they became youth leaders and, and they've, been, uh, they've been working with youth most of their life. So it's interesting how God works and God begins to direct. And maybe even today you are sitting there going, you know what? That makes sense because God has been leading me to do such and such. We have to understand that we need to step out of our boat, our comfort zone, our safety zone, and just trust God in what He has for us next. You might say, well, I don't know about that. I'm pretty scared. Faith is, is, is what we have to depend on. Amen? Well, let me pray for you. I'm making this a little short today so we can continue on. Lord, I thank you so much. I pray that you bless every single person. Encourage their hearts, Lord, in your name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.